The Jadokta Formation, nestled within the heart of the Gobi Desert in Central Asia, offers a fascinating glimpse into an ancient arid landscape dating back to the late Cretaceous period. This formation, characterized by expansive sand dunes, paints a vivid picture of an environment with limited freshwater resources. Interestingly, the climate of the Jadokta Formation has remained relatively unchanged over the last 80 million years. While today's conditions are slightly warmer and perhaps a tad less arid, the region's isolation from major evaporation sources has always meant little rainfall. This was the case even before the Himalayas rose to their current heights, forming a formidable barrier that now prevents clouds from reaching the Gobi Desert, making it one of the world's most renowned prehistoric time capsules. Roughly 73 million years ago, the climate here was still arid, with extreme temperatures and limited vegetation, yet it has preserved a wealth of prehistoric life. Fossils discovered in the Jadokta Formation include those of dinosaurs, mammals and other ancient creatures, offering valuable insights into the life that once thrived in this harsh landscape. One dinosaur calling the Jadokta Formation home is a pair of oviraptorids known as Sitipati. They are one of the best-known species of oviraptorids thanks to a number of well-preserved skeletons, including several specimens found in brooding positions on top of nests. This evidence of brooding behavior indicates that such parental care traits seen in birds today were present in some of their distant dinosaur relatives, offering a more detailed picture of how certain avian characteristics evolved over millions of years. Throughout the breeding season, this pair of oviraptorids demonstrate unique behaviors and duties. The male takes on the role of monitoring their limited territory, while also accumulating twigs and greenery to keep the nest warm and inviting. This dedication is key to ensuring the well-being of their soon-to-be hatched offspring. As for the female, she stays alert by the nest, acting as a shield against the threat of predators and scavengers. Her continuous vigilance is critical in preserving the integrity of the nest and its inhabitants throughout this significant phase of life. As the male patrols his territory, he is unaware he is not the only dinosaur surveying the land. Stalking him through the low vegetation is a small trudontid known as Sauronithoides. This clever creature measured between 6 to 9 feet in length and weighed between 51 to 120 pounds. Though significantly smaller than the city party, this small predator was an intelligent and strategic hunter. Its large, keen eyes are able to track every movement of the oviraptorid, analyzing and assessing the potential risks and rewards of his potential prey. The small predator watches from the tall shrubs as he debates his tactics. But he must hurry as the city party feels an unease creeping into the air. Opting for survival, the city party chose to flee just in time as the small predator began his pursuit. With incredible agility, the city party manages to elude capture, slipping away from the clutches of the predator just in time, leaving the frustrated Trudontid to ponder their unsuccessful attempt. Despite its sharp instincts and speed, the predator will have to end this hunt. However, this is only a temporary setback in his pursuit for a meal, as hunger will drive this primal predator once more. Having narrowly evaded its predator, the city party navigated his way back to the security of his breeding grounds. Upon arrival, he reunites with his mate 
and together they focus on raising their young. The land, marked by struggles, shows the endurance of a species that once thrived in these harsh conditions, as the city party's efforts add to their story of survival and remarkable adaptations over millions of years. Faced with challenging environmental conditions within the dry, arid environment of Mongolia are a herd of hadrosauroid known as plesiohadros. With limited vegetation available, the herd must constantly move in search of nourishment, relying on their ability to cover great distances to find edible plants. Water sources are rare and often located far apart forcing the plesiohadros to endure long periods of thirst. These harsh conditions shape the behavior and dynamics of the herd, making cooperation and social structures essential for survival. The plesiohadros, ranging from 9.1 to 11 meters in length, likely form tight-knit groups to protect against predators and maximize the chances of locating resources. Under the relentless glare of the midday sun, a father and son, Plesiohadros, lumber across the arid desert. The older father, frail with age, marches beside his younger but fully grown offspring. The younger Plesiohadros lets his father keep pace in order to not leave him. Their herd left them behind days ago, as the father could not keep up, leaving the two stranded in a barren expanse devoid of food and hope. As the parched and cracked ground offers no clues about the direction they should take, they continue to walk aimlessly through the desert, knowing death lurks behind every mistake. In the heart of a towering canyon, where the walls rise high above the lands, moisture is captured by the rugged walls, creating an environment where plants can flourish against the odds, providing an unexpected haven for life. Amidst this unlikely oasis, a small herd of protoceratops thrive here. These ancient creatures, with their distinctive frilled necks and beaked mouths, navigate the desert terrain with ease. While still a relatively large animal, adults were about six feet long and would have weighed about 400 pounds. The skull being very long, about one-fifth the total body length as they played a crucial role in the evolution of Ceratopsians, standing as a living chapter in the long journey of these fascinating dinosaurs. Observing the Protoceratops with a keen interest is the infamous Oviraptor. Measuring roughly four feet in height and weighing about 80 pounds, this particular Oviraptorid is on the smaller side compared to others of its kind. He decides to move closer with curiosity as the herd continues to graze, seemingly unaware of the oviraptor's presence. With measured steps, he weaved between the ceratopsians careful not to disturb them. Though the protoceratops focused on the greenery, the oviraptor had a different intent. As his eyes scanned the area with a keen awareness, he spots something much more intriguing than food. On top of the hill, he notices a potential mate. As the male makes his way over the crest of the hill, he encounters a female oviraptor. He stops dead in his tracks and engages eye contact with her. The female is aware of his reasons for approaching, yet it soon becomes apparent to the male that she is already protecting a brood of eggs. Thus, she has no interest in mating. With a stern warning, she advises him to retreat, understanding the male's potential for aggression. Given any opportunity, 
the male oviraptor would willingly destroy the eggs, recognizing they do not descend from his lineage. He backs off for now as she slowly guides him away, both knowing this dispute is not over. Under the veil of night, the Sauronithoides stood silently at the edge of a vast valley, its keen eyes sweeping over the dark expanse. This predator, with a legacy tainted by past failures, is driven by a need for redemption. He quickly stumbles upon the oviraptor's nest. As the mother sleeps, he strategizes a plan and cautiously approaches. However, his method is futile against the restless mother, whose instincts are sharp. As she begins to rise, she imposes a threatening demeanor, stopping the predator in his tracks. The fierce guardian warns the Trudontid to back away, or she will charge him. The Sauronithoides slowly makes a move, and the mother perceives it as a threat, initiating a chase to steer the predator away from her eggs. Guiding the Sauronithoides a significant distance from her nesting area, the oviraptor ceases her chase. The swift Trudontid, capable of achieving speeds up to 40 miles per hour, quickly outruns the oviraptor. However, his rapid pace proves useless as he experiences another unsuccessful attempt at capturing a meal, leaving him to retreat back into the dark hills. On the other side, the oviraptor faces the critical task of hurrying back to her nest. Each moment away risks the safety of her eggs, leaving it open to threats from predators and the elements. Arriving at the nesting site is the male oviraptor. Upon his return, he surprisingly finds the nest empty void of the female's watchful presence. This was his opportunity, a momentary gap in her vigilant protection. With a careful step, he entered the site. His instincts tell him that to ensure his own lineage, he must eliminate the potential threat posed by another's offspring. He quickly starts spoiling as many eggs as he can before her return. However, in the grip of the storm, the mother struggles to make her way through. As the relentless winds have greatly diminished her visibility, slowing her progress, but she is driven by her maternal instincts, knowing there is no time to waste, as she pushes forward back to her nest, no matter the costs. Upon her return, she discovers the male retreating in the distance, fearing the worst. She makes her way quickly to her nest, apprehensive about the potential disaster that awaits her. She discovers that the male has annihilated her cluster of eggs, thus eradicating any possibility of future competitors. The mother is left to simply observe and mourn the destruction of her nest, which now epitomizes her shortcomings and defeats. Moving further westward, we encounter our duo of Plesiohadros, still wandering aimlessly across the immense and perilous desert. The elder Plesiohadros finds his strength waning with each minute that slips by. Their need for water grows more desperate as time ticks on, 
If they are to survive, they must find it before it becomes fatally too late. To make matters worse, they are being stalked by a pair of small but deadly predators known as Velociraptor. The Velociraptor is a genus of Dromaeosaurid, best known for its relatively small size, reaching a length of about 1.8 meters or 6 feet, and an estimated weight of no more than 100 pounds. One of the most distinctive physical features of the Velociraptor is the large sickle-shaped claw on each hind foot. This claw, located on the second toe, was held retracted off the ground when not in use and was employed to grasp and slash at prey. The claw could have been a key tool in subduing victims, likely delivering fatal wounds or at least immobilizing them. The Velociraptors are strategically patient aware that haste could cost them their meal. Their sharp eyes focus on the weaker Plesiohadros, understanding that the creature's vulnerability will soon reach a critical point. For now they wait, silent and calculating, knowing that the circle of life in this prehistoric world favors those who can turn adversity into opportunity. As a distant rumble grows louder, the violent sandstorm begins to catch up with the group. The sky darkens as swirling grains of sand sweep across the landscape, obscuring the path and adding an element of chaos to their journey. The air becomes a harsh blend of grit and gusts, each breath more labored than the last, making it difficult for the Plesiohadros. Meanwhile, the Velociraptors keep a calculated distance as their predatory eyes lock onto the weakening herbivore. Despite the fierce onslaught of the storm, the elderly Plesiohadros reaches his limit and ultimately yields to the relentless forces of nature. He tumbles to the earth, greeting death as he falls. His son observes the heart-wrenching scene and gradually moves closer to where his father lies. He comes to terms with the irreversible reality that he has passed away. The young Plesiohadros is now faced with the daunting task of continuing their journey on his own. Nearby, the pair of raptors watch with keen interest ready to seize the chance to partake in a meal provided by the recent turn of events. The young male Plesiohadros slowly walks away from the lifeless body of his father, understanding that this chapter of his life has concluded. He recognizes that lingering in this place would only lead to his demise as well. As he makes his departure, the Velociraptors begin to advance, seizing the opportunity presented by the severe environmental conditions of the Jadokta Formation. <laughs> 